Hello labias and genitals and welcome to another episode of Game Through. We're going to be starting World of Final Fantasy. I am your host, Decontaminated Porridge Chamber. And if you're new to my channel, then I love Final Fantasy. It is literally my favourite game series of all time. So I've been looking forward to this game for ever since it was announced, basically. Um, and yeah, like a big fan. Um, I played the demo, loved that as well. And yeah, so I'm going to play this. Um, this is like the first day it's been out. So I got some um, DLC for it, like some free DLC, like uh, Sephiroth's Champion Medal. Um, yeah, it's basically all this stu stuff. Uh, yeah, stuff is for like uh, the pre order, basically. Uh, yes, claim my bonus. Oh, sweet, Magitek armor. Um, in case you're not familiar, Magitek armor is from uh, Final Fantasy VI. Um, pretty damn awesome game. Now, Final Fantasy is a very story-driven game, so whenever there's a cutscene, I'm going to basically shut up. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a new experience, I think. The brother. <sighs> yeah, so this is on the demo as well. Like, they have, like, what looks like robot hands or gloves. I thought my game capture was messing up then. I thought the blinking was like my game capture messing up. <laughs> the sister. I love how full of words they are. Uh, from her yawn there, it actually made it look like they're actually gloves and not, um, not uh, robotic enhancements or whatever. Jesus Christ, how much, how, how close do you want to get to being an upskirt shot then? <laughs> Which is kind of weird, because she looks extremely young. Uh, but then again, I mean, the Japanese do tend to do that in their animes and games. Which, I've just realised, kind of makes me sound a bit racist, but it's true, they, they always do that. Like, uh, if you watch, like, a risque sort of anime, like one of these ones that turn out to be like a fan service or something. I mean, it's, it's happened to the best of us, like anyone who watches anime is going to come across one that turns out to be fan service and it's like, urgh. Um, but they always have like what look like underage girls in it, it's just like, oh this is weird dude, like not a fan, obviously. <laughs> But, oh god, I just realised I probably actually, like, JUMP! Time to wake up. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I was only joking. Don't actually jump. Um, but yeah, I just realised, like, I've probably actually offended, like, <laughs> a bunch of people. That's, uh, not my aim. Uh, <laughs> but I was just, I'm, I'm just trying to state a fact, basically. Like, prove me wrong, you know? I I'd like to be proved wrong. <sighs> what a nap. Right, I'm gonna shut up again then. Alright, <laughs> I gotta get to work. I feel a bit better because, like, oh, am I gonna make it? I the think, like, when I'm late. the characters are uh, that I think the characters are like the same age, and if he's got a job, then that's and again, it's not kind of business has showing they're me. maybe not as underage as I thought. So, thank God. 
Well done, Squaresoft. You're uh mm. Oh wait, no, sorry, you're not even Squaresoft anymore, Just you're um sure blah, 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 Square Enix. Um Yeah. Um I knew you'd do me right. You're a great games company, I love you so much. Even though like a lot of people didn't enjoy Final Fantasy thirteen and uh the subsequent trilogy of Final Fantasy thirteen, I actually I really actually liked it. Like, uh, the first one kind of took a while to get into. The characters were a bit rubbish at first, but, like, I gradually got to like them. Um, the only one I didn't like in the first game was Hope. I mean, I I will say uh, Snow got on my tits a lot, but, uh, <laughs> uh, basically, like, when he sort of carried Hope to safety after being stabbed and everything, like, I thought, oh my god, he's actually a pretty awesome character. Um... But yeah, Hope just stayed like a dick throughout the entire game. Is Final Fantasy XIII 2, he became like awesome though. Anyway, let's carry on. Hey, I'm here. Huh? How'd she get in if no one's here yet? Good morning. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. The customer! She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. That's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on, get together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> She's basically like L from um, Death Note right now. <laughs> Jesus. That's so blatantly a Starbucks logo. up I'm all ears well you don't have to get all sarcastic uh, you really are all ears uh, what forget it so Lon have you seen anybody this morning well yeah I mean I'm looking right at you aren't I and there's that customer what You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... Ah, uh, look! Come with me right no, now! Easy! <laughs> I'm actually loving this. There's nobody here! So it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just... I mean no one! Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? 
if you're from around town, then I don't know you. But Rain Manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. Yeah, that's not a fake name. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama, right to here! Ah, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the gun! Huh? The hey, hey, you hey. can't just leave! <laughs> Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm here to help out. Does anyone have any questions? Huh. Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how the hell can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I see why Inna Crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused? Uh, hey, whoa, uh, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset too! Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes please. <sighs> but I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl! You'll live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you the like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm good uh, with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll have to go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. How the honk isn't my new favorite saying. How the honk? Mirage keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct. Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles. Miracles? Our arms can do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them! You were masters of them! Powerful living illusions known as mirages! In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you and those are the seven strongest mirages of all! With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world! Oh... So... We could have ruled the world? Because... What, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours. And you can make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's the try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? Yay, battle time! <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. Very Pokemon like. Out there. To take action, you need to spend something called action points, also known as AP. You automatically gain a little bit of AP each the time your turn comes around in battle. The amount of AP you need depends on the what you're trying to do, so make the sure you use them wisely. Blah blah blah. 
we've all already well basically if uh, you've played the demo you've already known you already know like all of this um, at this point I'm just gonna quickly say because uh, there was a lot of stuff during that cutscene that I was kind of like paying attention to um, now Tama um, aka the little fox thing uh, me and Miss Multi Console were talking about this, and we're assuming that that's basically um, this game's version of Carbuncle, who was a summon in like other Final Fantasy games. Um, but yeah, he's pretty awesome either way. Um, also, the way they said like, "Oh yeah, time stood still. This is the end of the world, and time doesn't matter," and all this sort. It has a very Final Fantasy thirteen. 2 and Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13 vibe to it, I think. Because um, that was all about, like, oh, the world ended because time failed to exist any longer and stuff like this. So I'm not sure if it's. if we're gonna bump into, like, one of the characters from that game at the end of this, but we will find out. We will find out. Oh shit, I accidentally just uh, blocked in. Uh, sorry, defended instead of attacked. This is why I go like to the basic menu and do it this way because it's a lot easier. Yeah, but I kind of forgot overnight. <laughs> yep, 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 I know. In case you're wondering what I just said, it just basically said like you can use abilities and magic and stuff during uh, battle, such as Foxfire, like that. Um. And although it's uh, pretty obvious, I don't know if you can see it or not, but, uh, well, I've noticed it or not, but um, there's kind of like a progress bar on the left-hand side, which basically has the character uh, face plates on there, and basically it scrolls upwards, and once the face plate hits the top, it's that character's turn to move. Um, so I just thought I'd explain that quickly, just in case... I don't know, maybe you hadn't noticed, but I don't know. I, I don't know you, I don't know your struggle. <laughs> yeah, I tend to find, like, just attacking is, like, more than enough on this game, like... Well, from the demo, anyway, it was just, like... I pretty much finished the demo just basically using the attack function. I find he has a really unique way of talking, like putting like random thes into like his sentences. Uh, three battle modes: active, semi-active, and wait. In active mode, targets flying regardless of what's like him. Commands: battles move quickly and without interruption. All oh, right, okay, I see. It's basically asking if you want to do uh, the turn-based combat or whether you want free-flow combat. But to be honest, I'm enjoying the. Uh, turn-based combat, because I haven't really done turn-based combat since the days of, uh, you know, Final Fantasy 9 was the last one to do that, I think. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's fine. I already know all that. <laughs> I don't get why only, um, Lan got to fight then, and not, um... What was her name? Rayan? Reyes? Rayan? I don't know her name. We'll we'll find out at some point, I'm sure. The figure it out yet? The two of you were on the surpassed. No, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude, seriously? Dude, the seriously. It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh. But wait, of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they lose the mirages they had, they've been stripped of all their memories of the mirages too? But, I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely unaffected. What? Listen, let me show you something. Ooh, it's progressing. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That 
is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay. So, like... You're saying, whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess it does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> <sighs> Yay! So, looks like we're actually going to start the game now, properly. Um, I apologise for that notification about one of my friends coming online, like, during that cutscene. I wasn't expecting that. I really, really need to turn off notifications, I think. So, I'm probably going to do that between episodes. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the first episode, guys. I'm definitely going to carry on playing this, because... I, as I say, I've been excited for this game for so long, so I'm definitely going to be making a playthrough of this. And so, yeah, I will see you on the next one, guys. Take it easy, uh, say hello to the family for me, and bye. Oh, also, like, comment, and subscribe if, if, if you liked it, or didn't. Either way, please do it. <laughs> right, see you guys. Bye.